Hello Leo and welcome to your mid-October to mid-November 2021 committed love reading. Leo, this is if um, you know, you're in a committed relationship, you could be married, you could be just in a committed relationship. We all know what that is, right? Um, if you are, if you have more than one partner, um, this will probably only resonate with one of the partners. So you're going to have to figure out which one that is and go from there. If you need more guidance, my website is listed below. Um, and feel free to check that out if you have more questions or need more answers to things. You can also check out your moon and rising signs. If you are not familiar with that, uh, there's a link below in the description uh, to astro.com and to tell you how to do that if you're not, don't know too much about astrology. It's user friendly and it is free. All right, Leo, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you've not been here. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Force for the trees. Thank you so much for being here. I hope something resonates with you. If you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, for your likes, shares, and subscribes, for all your comments. I appreciate all of you. I really and truly do uh, from the bottom of my heart. I love what I do, and I couldn't do this without you, right? All right, Leo, committed. Again, general reading will not resonate with every one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, and we will start your reading. Leo, this side will be for you, and this side will be for your partner, okay? And let's see what we have going on for Leo. All right, we have truth. No, trust. I always think that card is truth, and I don't know why. Whoops, there we go. Caught it. Ooh. All right. On your side, we have trust, like a partnership, and their side, we have commitment. So we might be moving some something to the next level. We might be leveling up in a relationship. We might be coming clean and really showing our true, true feelings. Let's see what we have, okay? Again, general reading will not resonate with every one of you, but hopefully you'll get some something out of this. Leo, mid-October to mid-November. Eight of Swords. Five of Pentacles. And the Tower. Woo! Goodness. Goodness, goodness. Wow. Okay, we'll see what's going on. It's not all peachy keen rainbows and unicorns like I thought it was going to be. Bottom of the deck, we have seven of, of swords card. This is a card of, can be a card of deceit, could be a card of somebody taking something from you that doesn't belong to them. You know, obviously if it's in a, um, if it's in a love reading, I'm thinking deceit, like somebody, you know, messing around with somebody, sleeping around with somebody, that, that possibility, again, taking something from you that doesn't belong to them. Um, and it could be your partner taking something from you that doesn't belong to them. That's a possibility too, but that seven is a card of decisions. It's a card of strategy and planning. It's like something that it wasn't, uh, something was thought out, something was thought out or planned, um, which is interesting because of the cards, you know, you have these beautiful cards of trust and commitment on your partner side. So that's just, I might have to pull a card on that, but we'll see. We'll see what the other cards have to say. All right, you have the Eight of Swords. You have the Five of Pentacles. No, Page of Pentacles. Okay, good. Better than, better than that. And then you have the Tower card. The Eight of Swords is a card about... Uh, it can be a card about self-esteem. It can be a card about... Um, that the thoughts in your head... How the thoughts in your head might not match what's really going on in reality... You know, in reality, she thinks she's stuck. She thinks she's trapped. She thinks she can't get out of this. That she's blindfolded and tied. Where in reality, the blindfolds are loose and the swords aren't around her. She just has to open her eyes and see. So this can be a card of not um, not wanting to face something. Not wanting to face reality. Not wanting to face uh, maybe some type of communication or some type of talk that you need to have. Or... Or maybe not wanting to know the truth. You know, maybe you don't want to know the truth. Maybe you're not wanting to know the truth of a situation. If you had a situation happen, maybe you're not wanting to know the truth to it. You you rather stay blind to it. You rather stay in your own little world and, and you know, 
think your own thoughts. And a lot of times, you know, when we don't want to know the truth, sometimes the truth isn't as bad as what we think is in our head. So we have to go there too. Hang on just a second. I've got my dog wants to play and knocking my books off. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. This can represent a child. Um, this can represent a job, a new job possibility coming in. It could be representing new money, a new way to make money, um, new ideas about money, new ideas about, uh, you know, the physical world. Um, however you make money, however, whatever, uh, mat your material world. Um, a lot of times pages can be young children or, or children. Um, so that's a possibility. Um, you know, with the eight of swords, it could be where if you want to have children, we have the tower, the tower is a breaking down of an old way of doing something. It sometimes can be something that comes out of the blue. That's kind of where I went with an affair here or went with some type of, you know, cause you had that deceit card. Um, kind of where I went with that. Um, something out of the blue, something that happened, something that uh, was took you off guard, took you by surprise, shook your world, rocked your world. It will forever change you, but it's generally for the better. You can't see it now and probably won't feel it for a while, but when you look back on it, it could make whatever happened, make your trust stronger, make your, um, make your foundation more solid. Again, with this, you know, you could feel like you had a blind eye to the relationship or, or maybe you knew something might be going on, but you were afraid to ask. And, you know, if you find out the truth, again, sometimes the truth isn't as bad as we think it is. You find out the truth to the situation, you can start to heal. You can start to rebuild. You can start to move forward. You can start new. Again, the Page of Pentacles can be a new start, a new beginning, a new angle on something, a new... Um, Almost a new answer you're seeking or an answer you're seeking. Because you have the trust. And that trust card might be your partner. And it might not be. You have commitment on your partner's side. Now there is, there is a balance here. There's a fairness here. Six of Pentacles. It's a card all about balance. About fairness. About sharing. About... Um, Seeing the need of something and trying to fix it or trying to bring in imbalance. Six is the number of harmony and peace and success. So trying to maybe your partner trying to bring the, the relationship back in balance. Wanting to start over. Wanting a clean slate. Wanting a clean page. Wanting forgiveness, wanting to atone for their sins, wanting to atone for their wrongdoings, asking, almost literally begging for it. Wanting a clean slate, wanting to turn the page, wanting a commitment. And you have the five of wands. So this can show a card of uh, bickering. It can show be a card of five is a number of change. There could be conflict, a little chaos. It could be a forced growth card. Um, this this could be you know whatever situation happened could force this person to grow up. Um, if there's a pregnancy here, which I don't see the Empress card, but you know this is a child, or if there's a child involved here, um, like if it's their child, it might be where you know. This will force them to have to grow up. Whatever happened could have rocked their world or rocked your world, changed you forever. But again, it's generally for the better. I think there's a lot of remorse. I think there's a lot of regret. I think there's a lot of um, wanting atonement, wanting to be forgiven for whatever deceit or wrongdoing or whatever they took from you. 
that they shouldn't have, which could be your trust because you have the trust card that could have taken your trust. And we all know trust is very hard to get back. The eight, though, I keep seeing you as like you're beating yourself up over something you should have known was going on or she, you should have known, you should have seen it, but you, I think in your heart of hearts, Leo, you knew something was up, but you didn't want to face it, maybe. You didn't want to go there. You didn't want to have to answer to that. What you all need to work on together is time apart. You need to rest. You need to rest your thoughts, rest your thinking, rest your words, rest what's being said, rest your communication. This and this is rebuilding structure, rebuilding foundation. But you all need to take a break from this. Regroup. Rethink. Think how you want to communicate. Think about how you want the words to be out there, to put out. Once we put words out there, we can't get them back. So think about how you want those words to be said how you want the words to resonate what you want to say probable outcome is the star card and that's a beautiful probable outcome this is a card it can be a card of forgiveness it can be a card of a new start new beginnings wishes what do you all both want what's your hopes and dreams It can symbolize health, so I would I would advise both of you to watch your health. Um, and it could be the health of the relationship. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to what do you want? What are your wishes? What are what what do you want to bring forth? It's a card of creating your dreams, creating your wishes, being rational about it. You can be dreamy, but it, it's also being, being rational. She has one foot in the water and one foot on ground. So she's got that balance again. She's got that, um, create, you know, that knowing what she wants to create. Now, this card can also be a new beginning, a new start, your hopes and dreams. Leo, I'm reading on you. So if this isn't what you're wanting, if this cannot be fixed, you have, you know, where are you going to go from there? Where do you want to go from there? Your partner can be grasping at straws. Your partner, it could be where you maybe wanted a commitment from this partner or wanted a marriage or wanted something from this partner for many years. And they are just, you know, if they've done wrong, they could say, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And this doesn't have to be an affair. This could be somebody taking money from you. That's not their money. You know, they could have drained your bank account. They could have taken something from you that's not theirs to take. It doesn't have to be an affair. Whatever it is could have broke your trust in them. I'm going to pull a clarifier on. What am I pulling a clarifier on? Pull a clarifier on the tower card. For Leo, mid-October, mid-November. Tower card, please. Permanence. Yeah, permanence. You can't get the stain out. It's hard to get that trust back. As of right now, you don't know if you ever can see this person and not see what they've done. Full clarifier on the star card for Leo, please. Star card. Mid-October, mid-November. Toxic. Yeah. Oh, and this one just came out too. This, I was putting the deck up and it flipped right in my fingers. Simplicity. What's that saying that goes around now? Keep it simple, stupid. K-I-S-S. You know, this might be a toxic relationship. This might be a relationship where, you know, simplicity, less is more. It's, it's like kind of going here. Don't keep going here. Don't keep fighting. Don't keep bickering. 
This is not only time apart, this is thinking. This is thinking about your next move. This is really going in, going within, taking time for you, for them, him, her, to really think about what is best for both of you. And this might be just a toxic relationship. Or whatever they did could have put this toxic into the relationship where it's permanent for you. You can't not see it. Again, with the star card, you want to keep things simple. You just want to keep things simple. You just want, you know, if, if it's an ending, if it's getting back together, there's counseling. You might not be ready for all that. You might not be wanting to do all that. You might just be, maybe it's simpler to, to agree to disagree and, and let it go. But there is remorse on your partner's part. There is wanting that balance, wanting to bring that balance back. You know, almost like seeking forgiveness, wanting to pay their, pay their debt to society, pay their debt to you. Wanting to turn the page, having that feeling of, you know, knowing that they've done something wrong. Knowing that they need to be absolved from their sins or be absolved from whatever they've done. One more card for you. Alright, let's pull another card for you. Memory. Memory. The book has to say on that. Beautiful card. I can find it. This says, be mindful of the memories you desire to keep. Let your memories drive your imaginations to new heights. Hmm. I see it too as if you can let go of past hurts, if you can let go of, I don't know if you can with the permanence and the toxic. Sometimes our relationships are toxic. Sometimes we have to realize that. Sometimes we don't know that going in. Sometimes they become toxic. Sometimes something happens where you think you have trust. You think you have this, you think you know this person. And something happens. Something rocks your world. Something brings it crumbling down. What you once knew. My card with memory is a lot of times if there's a breakup and we think of, you know, you can be very, very angry for a while and then you think of all the good things. So, try to keep a balance of reality. Eight is a card of power. You know, I think, I think you're feeling powerless in this, whatever has happened. You're feeling powerless. The Page of Pentacles can also be a card of going... You know, maybe there's not much money involved. Maybe it's like, how am I going to make this work? I don't have that much money. You know, I have to start new. I have to start over again feeling. Again, it's not a card of, yes, you need to end this, but it's a card of decisions. Making decisions. What do you want to do? You know, talk it out. I don't know, again, with the card showing up around the star card. There's hopes, there's possibilities, there's, you know, your hopes and dreams, the star, what you wish for. But there is definite regret and definite, um, 
it's almost like if they could change whatever happened, they can change, you know, they're, they're willing to try to change whatever happened. Know too, Leo, that this is the energies right now. You have the ability to change this. You have the ability to change any of it. This is a, this is the energies right now, but you're in control. You're in the driver's seat. You have the reins. This is you, your life. You can change it. Knowing what's coming up, knowing this possibility, you could be in this energy right now. Or you might go, oh, maybe they are taking money from me, or maybe they are deceiving me in some way. You know, it could be where they say they're not drinking or smoking, and they are. They could be where they're not gambling, and they are, or something like that. It doesn't have to be, you know, I don't see... A possi I mean, there could be a possibility of an affair, but I'm not saying that that's what it is. I don't really have the cards there for that. But it's the trust that's broken, and that's what's hard. And I think they're willing to do anything now to rectify the situation. It's like, you want to get married? Let's get married. You know, whatever. Whatever it is. And it's almost to pacify, though. I don't, I don't know. I think there's sincerity in them being sorry, but I don't know if there's sincerity in what they offer. So my advice is to give it time. Give it time. That Four of Swords energy. Give it time. Think about things. You don't ask for much. You know, with the simplicity card. You don't ask for much. All right. Ooh, Leo, I don't like readings like this. But, you know, there, there's, there's worse ones out there. I just like, you know, everybody can't be rainbows and unicorns. So if this sounds like somebody you know that they're going through, please feel free to share this with them. Leo, please take care of yourself and each other this month. Stay safe and healthy. And please um, let me know if this resonates with you. You can leave a comment below or you can email me if that's better for you. Uh, take care and good luck to you. Um, got a lot going on, a lot of thoughts, a lot of thinking. But again, remember, you're in charge. You're in the driver's seat. Okay? Stay blessed. Until next time. Bye for now, Leo.